Hello, hello, beautiful people. How you all doing today? So, guys, on this video, I'm gonna be talking about something called recognizing faulty thinking. But before I get into that, I want to explain more about emotions, behaviors, and cognitions. We all know how it feels to be happy, to be sad, to be angry. But what are emotions? So basically, emotions can be described as the way that we feel in our minds and in our bodies in response to all the events that occur in our lives. It is also the way that we think about things. So for example, if you call your friend and your friend doesn't pick up the call, you may feel angry and you may think she only calls me because she needs something. Or perhaps you're gonna feel worried and you may think like, I hope she's okay. So guys, emotions direct our attention to issues that we perceive to be significant and it also motivates us to respond by doing something. Cognition, guys, are the way that we think about the events happening in our lives. And as a result, determines our emotions. And here are some examples. If you think something bad is gonna happen, you may feel anxiety. If you think that things are going really well for you, you may feel contentment. If you think that you did something immoral, you may feel shame. Behavior is the way that we respond in specific situations. So, our cognitions plays a crucial role in influencing our behaviors. So, for example, if you think that you must be loved and approved by everyone, you're gonna try to please others. If you think that you must do things perfectly, you may procrastinate or you may do things slowly. Our behaviors, our cognitions and our emotions, they're all interconnected and they influence how we are, what we do and what we think. We brought up all the happiest people in the world. What do you think they have in common? Like money or would you say fame or a success career? The happiest people in the world are those who have a flexible way of thinking. There is a guy called Albert who observed that a lot of us, we have thoughts that are irrational and self-defeating. He argues that if you have a belief that makes you experience inappropriate anger, anxiety, frustration or whatever, or if this belief is impacting your life, or your health, then this belief is considered irrational. So guys, while there are loads and loads of irrational beliefs, today I'm gonna be talking about one called the tyranny of the shoulds. This is when we believe that things should or must be in a certain way. Shoulds are the rules or the beliefs that we believe that it is necessary in our world. So guys, now I'm gonna be talking about some examples and can you maybe identify any that affects your life? I should always do a perfect job. I should never make mistakes. I should always be productive in the use of my time. My life should be easy and hassle-free. I should always be treated fairly. I should always be in control over the events that happen in my life. Other people should always do the right thing. Other people should like and approve me. I should be slim, youthful and attractive. I should be effective in everything that I do. I should be a perfect parent. I should be working. I should always be totally independent. Holding these beliefs can make us feel bad because our lives do not always match them. It is completely reasonable, guys. You prefer that people like us, that they treat us fairly, and that they do the right thing. However, we need to be flexible to accept that this will not always happen. Life constantly challenges us, guys, to be more flexible. And when things don't work out in our way, we can make ourselves miserable by demanding that things should not be this way. However, guys, we can adjust or move on by deciding to have a more flexible way of looking into things. The next video, guys, I'm gonna be talking about another rational belief, which is called offlizing. So take this time now to subscribe in the channel so you don't lose this one. 
And now see if you can give a like on this video and share with your friends. I'll be really, really happy. You're going to be really helping me with that. Also, guys, if you can follow my page, Moment of Awareness on Instagram, I'm posting every day a lot of positivity, motivation every single day for you over there. Thank you so much again for watching this video and I hope I see you in the next one.